वेलकम माई YouTube फैमिली कैसे आप सब लोग न्यू टॉपिक के साथ डॉक्टर रोया रोजा डी मैम के साथ आई एम गुड अलहमदिल्ला मैम टेल मी समथिंग अबाउट लैक्रोस्कोपी मैम लैक्रोस्कोपी यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड दैट इन आवर फोक लैंग्वेज एंड आवर पेशेंट्स लैंग्वेज दे से दूरबीन टेस्ट दूरबीन टेस्ट से इट मींस इज अ विंडो सर्जरी विंडो सर्जरी वेयर इट इज समथिंग व्हिच इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द कन्वेंशनल ऑपरेटिव सर्जरी वेयर वी यूज्ड टू डू लैपरोटोमी एंड इट वुड हैव अ lot of morbidity and mortality on uh, the whole uh, incision which will be around 10 cm the olden days that is called laparotomy um, to see the inside but now it is being modified to a window surgery that is minimally invasive surgery where it is only three hole and each hole will be less than half an inch and um, you must be aware that the lesser the incision on the abdomen is the length of the incision the less the less is the fever the less is the pain so therefore the need for pain killers will be less and uh, uh, maybe about uh, one or two decades ago when uh, a patient or a woman has an operation by a laparotomy or a major uh, bar operation major operation then she from her job for 2 months and she has to be at home on bed rest but now with the modification and evolution to this minimally invasive surgery the time duration for the post operative recovery is just about 7 days mm. even if we remove the uterus also or if we uh, have a look at the whole panoramic view of the whole tube pelvis and the ovaries post operative recovery is less than a week 5 6 mm-hmm. days and the total duration of the hospital stay and admission is less than a day yeah. so the admission uh, time is reduced the cost is reduced the, the requirement for the pain killers are reduced the whole duration of the admission period which was held and there is about 7 days in the hospital she has to be there it is reduced to less than 24 hours and the total uh, recovery is so fast so fast uh, that she will be up the very next day or maybe after 48 hours and maybe can go back to her office after 5 days or 6 days that is a greatest advantage and that's a greatest thing which is to come to the medical practice especially for us as a infertility specialist Okay, ma'am. Hysteroscopy also is the same thing. Hysteroscopy is a is a uh, vision uh, endoscopic vision of the uterine cavity from inside. Okay. Where we go inside the uterine cavity, we see the whole panoramic view of the uterus, the ostia, the anterior wall, the posterior wall. If there is any septum, is there is if there is any lesion or if there is any carcinoma, which we should do biopsy, or if there are any. Uh, basically adhesions are there hysteroscopy will tell us about the pathology of the uterine cavity but laparoscopy we will know about if there are any pathology in the pelvis like if there are endometriotic implant like endometrial gland it comes out of the tube and it get implanted in and around the pelvis or, or the ovary and fossa this is one or to diagnose polycystic ovaries or to do to rupture the cyst that is called leos laparoscopic endo cervix coagulation of the ovarian cervix ovarian surface or then even for the hydrotubation to test the tubes or if there are any adhesion to be removed adhesiolysis all those thing procedure will be done for a laparoscopy where we are doing a infertility treatment laparoscopy mm-hmm. is like a key hook key keys to success passport like a passport okay. when you want to open the project or you want to open your email or you want to open your uh, computer basically you have to give a passport yeah. it is infertile woman also after having a lot of treatment follicular study a multiple course of the ovulation induction agent or iui still if she is resistant to treatment it is a must to use the keyboard and password and that is basically the success 
by laparoscopy. Laparoscopy once we do, then we know what are the pathologies and what is the root of the problem, whether she has endometriosis, what is a stage of endometriosis, whether she has a PCO or whether she has adhesions or whether tubo ovarian relationship is being disturbed. For instance, one example I'll tell you. There were many patients where they had laparoscopy earlier on by you know, many of the gynecologists and infertility specialists of the city, but still they were infertile. So they were referred to us. And then myself also, I took about a year, but no success. Laparoscopy by others had been done earlier, seven years ago, six years ago. But when I did a laparoscopy, and after one year of my treatment, also no success. And when I did a laparoscopy, what is the finding? All of a sudden, you will find the ovarian position instead of being posteriorly, it is being anteriorly positioned. And when reposit the ovarian ovaries into the posterior or ovarian fossa, immediately in one of those, she gets success. Yeah, or sometimes silent and uh, dormant uh, PID where we are not able to diagnose pelvic inflammatory disease by the conventional investigations and all the tests come normal, normal, normal. The only way you can diagnose dormant and clinic, subclinical PID, pelvic inflammatory disease, which is no symptoms, only on laparoscopy, we can see, oh, there are tubercles, there are free fluid, and then we will just give them a course for the in, uh, basically PID and then she get conceived just about two months or three months. Okay. These are the greatest advantage of the laparoscopy. Success stories of laparoscopy, ma? Just now I told you this. It's me? Yes, yes, of course, of course, of course. But there are many, many, many cases. Yeah, thousands of success, success stories. Yeah. Officer and uh, ice officer's wife and uh, she actually she was herself a software and uh, she had treatment from other center IVF and IUI and no success from me also treatment no success so but then when I did a laparoscopy immediately within a couple of months she got conceived she's okay. blessed on many many laparoscopy is very quick to success it means that whatever treatment you give of the laparoscopy only you will be able to get result and another greatest advantage is also you know the diagnosis because once you do a laparoscopy you know what is the root of the problem in here where she is not able to respond the third advantage of the laparoscopy is you get confidence that yes no whatever treatment in the form of IUI or IVF or ovulation induction I give then I am confident that my patient will get success. These are the very, very, very great advantages of the laparoscopy. There are disadvantages because the instruments are expensive. We need to have an expert handling to do a laparoscopic procedure. It needs anesthesia. So these are the part of the procedure where we need to give a proper counseling and proper infer information to the patient. And after she agrees, then we can go ahead because anyhow is an operation and she has to be informed and she has to be taken a consent uh, but then post-operative success is very good actually any side effects ma'am there are no side effects okay ma'am thank you inshallah we'll come get back to you with other topic